This is Letter to Sons. I'm Doug Keating. You want to visit Europe this year, 2024. It's not too late. However, you are not sure where to go. If that's you, you are in the right place. In my last video, I shared my five favorite regions to visit in Europe's most popular countries. Gonna take a different angle this time. Here are my top 10 places I want to explore in Europe's most popular countries. In case you're not familiar with the most popular countries tourists visit in Europe, here is a good list. Starting from the top in order, France, Spain, Italy, Turkey, UK are the top five. Next comes Germany, Greece, Austria, Portugal, and finishes with the Netherlands. What I'm gonna do in this video is talk about places in each of these countries I want to explore. What that means is I've never been there before. Place number one, the Dordogne region in France. Not really that popular with many American tourists. The rest of Europe loves visiting this place. And I can see why it has an amazing river that runs through it, castles, villages, prehistoric caves, and excellent cuisine. Would love to spend a week there relaxing and exploring this region. Place number two, Andalusia, Spain. I have not gotten to the southernmost region of Spain located along the Mediterranean Sea. It's famous for a lot of things, such as Seville, its main city, or the Alhambra Palace and Granada. It's got beaches, white villages up in the mountains, flamenco, you've got local cuisine and excellent wine. Many reasons to visit this region. Place number three, for the country of Italy, I'm selecting the Emilia Romano region. It is known for its food. Its capital, Bologna, is known as the culinary capital of all of Italy. That's saying something. This entire country is well known for its food and people rave about this region. If you're looking for another reason, fast cars are also made here, Ferrari, Maserati. Fast cars, food, fun, what more could you ask for? Place number four, Istanbul, Turkey. I've never been to Turkey before in my life. Figure I should start in this historic city that is full of sights, excellent food, all kinds of things to see and do. Seems perfect for a long weekend getaway. Place number five, the south coast of England. This year, I'm a Southampton football fan. I'll be going to a game there. Figure while I'm there, I should explore some of the south coast of England. The landscapes look amazing and there's several historic places along the way. Place number six, Lower Saxony, Germany, which ironically is located up north around the Hamburg area. I've been all over Southern Germany, haven't spent much time in the north. Think it'd be fun to explore several of the cities as well as historic villages in Lower Saxony. Place number seven, the Ionian Islands of Greece. I have already visited well-known Greek islands such as Mykonos, Santorini, and Crete. Would love to get over off the west coast and see the Ionian Islands like Corfu. The water here looks crystal clear. Beautiful beaches, historic villages, excellent food. Man, that sounds like a good time to me. Place number eight, Southern Austria. I've spent a fair amount of time in the northern part of this country, whether it's Innsbruck, Salzburg, heading over to Vienna. Would love to spend some time exploring the south to see more alpine villages, huge mountains, and historic castles. Place number nine, the Algarve, Portugal. Kim and I spent a fair amount of time up north exploring Lisbon, Porto, and everything in between. We'd love to head south and view this amazing coastline, beautiful beaches, and world-class seafood. Place number 10, the Bridge Too Far cities located in the Netherlands. This one's a little hard to explain if you've never read the book or seen the movie A Bridge Too Far. Quick summary, during World War II, the Allies executed Operation Market Garden that included airborne operations into Eindhoven, Nijmegen, and Arnhem. For any of you World War II buffs, you would love this plan. That would be to start in Amsterdam, do a loop including these three cities. 
Bonus place, the French Alps. Why France? Well, it's the most popular country in all of Europe to visit. I've been obsessed with watching the Tour de France this last month, and the Olympics are getting ready to start in this country. Would love to get to the Alps located in France to see the mountains, the beautiful village, and just spend some time hiking in this region. Let me wrap up this video on a high note, and I mean that literally, with a bucket list item. I would love to watch a mountaintop finish of La Tour. I'm obsessed with watching the Tour de France. I think it would be extremely fun to go to the French Alps and catch a stage that finishes on a mountaintop. Man, that would be awesome.